G'day, I'm Tim Skirm. This is a video on lasting the four-part lining and the toe path. This lesson carries on from the last one. And if you can, I would suggest leaving the uppers on the last for 24 hours before you proceed to this step. Um, it allows the stiffness to dry and to set a bit and also for the lines of tension to start being set up in the back part of the shoe. Now the first part of this process is to remove the five nails that we had in the fore part. Pull the nails out like this and that means you can reuse them, they'll pull out straight. Now pull out the rest of the nails in the fore part and peel the, the upper back. Grab the front of the lining and just roll your last over and pull it into place, put a nail in the front. Don't pull too hard, that will cause you problems later on. Do the sides, the same as you did before and then go to the joints and redo them. Now you go to the pleating and the pleating is very important here. So you pleat either side of the center nail and put your nails in very close to the pleats. Lots of little pleats are better than big pleats. Don't let any of the pleating run over the outside edge and if you need to pull out nails and redo it then that's what you do. You do this all the way around the front, getting rid of all the excess material at a place where it doesn't matter. It's better to remove it at the toe than further down the last. Now you come back and put a nail in the centre of each pleat, lever it upright with your finger and then hammer it back into place. This pulls the last little bits in nice and tight. Then just hammer down on the outside edge just in front of the nails, just to make sure everything's sitting right. Trim away the excess lining, you don't require all that material. Just make sure that it's all trimmed back out of the way. Now clear your lining away from your insole so that you can get the glue in there. Make sure there's plenty of glue on both surfaces. And carry the glue right down to around the back of the insole as well. Then allow the glue to dry before you proceed to the next step. Push the material down onto the top of the last. Then pull out the nails. and then remove the center nail at the front, the one in the waist, and the one at the back, which always gets forgotten. Tap the lining down onto the insole to make the bond. Get your knife and cut off the pleats. Not only that, you cut the excess material off from the lasting allowance. You don't need all that. and just hammer it down and make it solid. That's what it looks like. Measure back from the toe of the last your distance for your toe puff and draw a line at right angles across the front of the last. Then you place your toe puff onto the top of the last and put a nail in the center where it was not skived, the most solid part of the toe puff. Pull the sides over using the line you drew across the top so the toe puff sits straight. Then pull in at the center 
and put a nail in the center as well. Now taupe up by this stage is very wet and sort of like blotting paper. So you have to be very careful. You don't pull very hard. You don't need to. You've got to make sure that your pleats once again don't come over the edge. So you go around and pleat the whole thing. Just be very cautious with this. Don't make your pleats very big either. And once again side to side or you'll pull the whole thing out of shape. And once again be prepared to pull all your nails out and redo it if it doesn't work the way it should do. You're really only just laying it into place. You're not having to pull very hard at all. If you do start pulling hard and it's bound to tear. Then beat up along the side in a slightly upwards direction, not hitting very hard because you don't want to compress this too much and you can do that very easily at this stage, just a gentle tap. Then go along the top making sure that the fitting down onto the insole, there's no air underneath. Once again, you get into the pleats and push it upright and hammer it home. This is your final bit of lasting on the tow puff or tow box if you're in America. And that's what your finished product should look like. Remove the nail from the top. You shouldn't hammer the top of the toe puff very hard because if you make indentations, you only have to take them out in the next step. And now you leave the toe puff to dry completely before you proceed. <laughs> 